Hello everyone. This PowerPoint presentation is for grade 5 students for their social studies. The first chapter is Identity and Inquiry. This presentation is based on the book Voices of Canada, People, Places and Possibilities. It's written by Donna M. Goodman, J. Craig Harding and Thomas A. Smith. This video is only for educational purposes and its aim is to help students who might have limited resources. Identity. Our identity is how we see ourselves. It is shaped by the languages we speak, the groups we belong to, and where we come from. So who are you? Where do you live? What languages can you speak? And what traditions do you practice in your home? What do you like to do? And where do your parents and grandparents come from? What is the Canadian identity? What images come to your mind when you think about Canada? Some things that might come to your mind are the maple leaf, beaver, totem poles, hockey, Rocky Mountains, Tim Hortons, and multiculturalism. At this point, you can brainstorm yourself what things represent Canada to you. Inquiry. In order to learn about ourselves, we have to ask questions, which means to inquire. We have to ask about who, what, when, where, why, how, and if. Inquiry needs critical thinking skills. So, first you have to plan your investigation. What is the idea or what is the main point that you want to research? Then you have to collect information. And then once you've collected that information, you have to process all that. Some of that information won't be important to your project. So you have to sift through all that information and use what you feel is important. Then you have to create your presentation and you have to use a format that you think will be most appealing and will most represent you. And then you have to share your presentation. And once again, you have to find a form, a platform that you think will be best suited to you and best suited to presenting your idea. So that could be a report, a video, a PowerPoint, or you could think of different other different ways, such as maybe making a diagram. At the end, you have to evaluate. Was this your best work? Did you respect the opinions of others? And what do you think your peers would say? Your peers are the people around you. So, in order to learn about our Canadian identity and what it means to be Canadian, we're going to use critical thinking skills, which means that we're going to learn how to collect information, how to analyze it, how to connect the dots, and how to think outside the box, and learn from different perspectives.